Well, we got us a wiring short today that we are repairing. I don't know if any of you guys out there have done this where you uh, went to go work on something like change the belt out and you move something and about a day later your car starts acting up or acting funny and it turns out the belt might have rubbed on the harness and opened up two wires and then shortened them out together and now you got problems. Well, that's what we experienced here on this uh, Oldsmobile. One of the initial problems we had when I first checked this a couple of months ago was a bunch of electrical stuff. So what I did is I went ahead and uh, tore apart this harness. It's recovered now. I have one part of it exposed still. This is where uh, some of the repairs were done to it. So what we did is example the red wire with the black stripe that I have here that's damaged. Cut out a little section of it, used some heat shrink tube, inserted a new little piece of wire, and all you do is you cut that, strip the end of the wire of the broken section out, cut that out, and then you're gonna put a heat shrink on one side, heat shrink on the other side, crimp it, melt it, and it should be good to go. Just make sure you got a good solid connection. I like to use these weather the weather pack ones. They uh seem to work good they got like a little glue inside or something as they melt down so they seal it up pretty well but I went ahead and fixed these two wiring shorts that we had and then we're just putting new loom on it I don't know if you guys have ever wrapped loom a little time consuming I sell a special tool to help you out and make it a little easier but I don't have that so doing it by hand some good old 3M tape and some loom get it back to being protected inside there now we don't have any more issues.